All right, coming right back where I left off in the previous part. Let's start up Shifting Sandland, and we'll begin by doing this first start here. Definitely got to be careful in this level. There's a lot of easy deaths that can happen with uh, that quicksand down there. So I'll try to avoid that if I can. Alright, so this is Game Maniac, and this is Super Mario 64, and this is part number 11. Alright, definitely want to open this up. May or may not need it, but uh, nice to always open those up whenever I, you know, get the chance to. Now this star is pretty easy. Bam. <laughs> always find it's the easiest to get from that pillar there. Get out of that sand, Mario. There we go. And we have the first star. Go ahead and make this, uh, I'll probably make this part pretty short as well as the previous part. Um, of course, going to try to get as many stars as I can. And by the way, we're at 60 stars now, which means we are halfway through this game, this beastly game. Noticing as I'm replaying this a little bit, I mean, it's been a, quite a few years since I've played this game. Um, but it's actually a pretty short game. When you know where all the stars are, it's actually pretty short. Alright, so this one's a pretty easy star, too. Just straight up, uh, get this wing cap here and fly to the top of the pyramid. It's, uh, pretty easy. see it? I see a star. There's star number two. Busting right through this level. Alright, onward to the third star. Inside the ancient pyramid. Don't think this one's too hard either. Let's see, what's the best way to get back up here? There we go. Come on, camera. There we go. Fly right to where we need. As long as we can avoid the wind tornadoes. Those can be annoying, and sometimes you actually can use them to your advantage, but uh, I usually try to avoid them, mostly. Alrighty. I remember most of this level, but there's little things I kind of forget, like the star that uh, where you have to find all the little secrets. Some of those can be tricky. Don't completely remember where all that's at. But uh, I'll worry about that when it's time to get there. <laughs> um, I think. I think, yeah, yeah, I think it'll be easier just to go ahead and uh, jump up on this block here. Uh, if I can pull it off. I'll just stand still and do it. There we go. And as long as I can get off of it quickly. Pretty much this star is just, pretty much just go up through, uh, through this right here and uh, continue along the path, basically going clockwise all the way till you get to the top. And there's a star out oh, there. I do b b b b believe. <laughs> always love jumping this thing. Cause you can always like perfectly jump over it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. enough. Faster! Faster! <laughs> Alright. For the most part, I just don't stop on this, and usually don't uh, get hit by those electric uh, little ball, silver ball things. Whatever they are. 
But you can get hit. Ooh, got lucky there. Almost to the top. Not that way. Ah, yes, this guy. Pretty easy to avoid when he's coming at you. It's when he's going the other way that can be tricky. All right, there's the star. Boom. Third star down. Four more to go. What's this one? Ah, stand tall on the four pillars. Now this one, I remember having problems figuring out how to do this one when I first originally played the game. But, the easiest way I've found is to pretty much use... Might as well grab this extra man here. The one-up mushroom. Man, the one-up mushrooms are so small. <laughs> Just comparing to, to a, a game like, uh, say, Super Mario Galaxy, where the mushrooms are gigantic. <laughs> They're really tiny. Alright. Let's get up here again. And yeah. I'm gonna use this shell here. The Koopa shell. And do some surfing. Because you can surf over pretty much anything as long as it's not a solid surface. So all I'm gonna have to do is just surf over each of the tops of these pillars here. And sometimes it registers, other times it won't, it doesn't, but, uh, that's exactly what we need. It's just so easy to do it this way, and fast. Avoid the, the tornado. I'll try to go up the side of the pyramid. Why not? Is this the one where, actually it has to be. I think this is the one where I have to fight the, uh, Stone hands. At least I believe. This'll be fun. Alright. It's definitely what this is. So let's go ahead and make our way down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we break seal. Wake ancient ones. We know like fight. Light. No like intruders. Now battle. Hand to hand. Alright. I can do that. Punch you in the eye. <laughs> Punch you in the eye. That was more like a headbutt. Next. Let's pretty much just go back and forth. Pretty easy boss, as long as you don't get knocked down or off the edge, everything should go just fine. Got one hand down. Now it gets a little more tricky, because you gotta be a little faster. Not too hard at all. Nice dodge, Mario. <laughs> See ya. Pretty easy. But one of those funner bosses, I think. More memorable as well. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Made some good, uh, we're about halfway done with this level already. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end off the part now. Thanks for joining me as always. And uh, yeah, I will con be continuing this game. Going to be getting farther and farther and farther and farther. So, uh, next part will be more of Shifting Sandland. Hope you look forward to it. See you next time.